Hi everyone and you're very welcome back to Games On Point. Today I'll be covering the M16 loadout in Call of Duty Zombies. Before starting I'd recommend having the tactical rifles at tier 3 for the extra attachments. So jumping on in, for the optic I'd highly recommend the quick dot LED for a slight accuracy boost and for the muzzle we'll run the agency silencer for the increased equipment drops. Next we will go with the task force barrel for added damage and for the barrel of the gun we will run the ember sighting point mainly for the added salvage and hip fire. Follow these attachments up with the field agent foregrip and the salvo fast mag for the extra ammo and the recoil control of the under barrel. Next we're going to throw on the speed tape and the SAS combat stock for the added speed boost. So that is my preferred M16 loadout in Call of Duty Zombies. Just want to know if you guys agree with me or what would you change on the loadout. Next here are some examples of the different M16 Pack-a-Punch versions in action. And before you go guys I truly appreciate if you took one second of your time to click the subscribe button below. Thanks in advance if you do so. The M16 can be Pack-a-Punch three times with different ammo mods. And as you can see with the three round burst it's very effective against a full wave of zombies. The upgraded version is called the Skull Splitter and this is for a good reason. As you can see you should get a lot of critical hits using this loadout. As always guys, thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe and stay awesome.